भित्र किन फालेको मिठो लाएन शेयर गर्नुको आनन्द नै अर्को छ नि सो लेट्स शेयर एन्ड ईट All right, welcome to another episode of Five More Presents Chop Chop Diaries. And today I have with me a very very interesting personality. We've seen her a lot on social media. We love her content, but yet I feel like there's just very little that we know about her. So today we'll try to explore more of this wonderful lady sitting right next to me. Please welcome Lakila. Hi, it's me. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Hi, Akila. Hi. You have such an interesting name. Thank What does you. it mean? Uh, it means um, goddess of happiness, I believe. It's actually Ha Ki. Ha means God, and Ki means happy. So I make of it goddess of happiness. Well, so does Maybe it? Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. So is that who you are? Are you a very happy person? I don't know. Hey. Do you name it like just just because of feelings? Like you don't know. Yeah, I guess. Do you I mean, like your name? Yeah. I like my name. Okay, give me five most uh, mispronounced versions of your name. Um <coughs> Siri calls me Lakaila and uh, uh my maths teacher used to call me Leggy. Leggy? Yeah. And um Paramir Sathi or they used to call me uh Lakhe. You know that um yeah. the traditional thing. Yeah. Yeah, that one. And I've also gotten uh Lucky. I hate when people call me Lucky. Yeah. I think that's it. <laughs> so you get mispronounced. What is that? <laughs> that's just um who I am. Now stop. Oh okay. That's just who you are. <laughs> so moving on, we're still stuck to your name, okay? Is that your real name? Yeah. Like real 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 name. Yeah. Like since birth. Yeah. Oh, it's such a cool name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now that we've explored what Lakila means and mm. that is your real name. So who is Lakila from here? <laughs> um uh, I guess uh I'm somebody, I mean not bragging but who's always grateful for everything that everything that she has and um yeah, I guess my name just does justice I am a very happy person. I try to be a happy person. Obviously not everyone's always a happy person, but I try and that makes me a happy person. Do you know how many times you use the word happy just now? Yeah, I sh- I think I should stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about your childhood, schooling. How were you as a kid? Were you always this bright super loud personality girl mm. or No, I- actually I was a very shy, quiet uh girl. I think even now I am it's just that in front of the camera it just comes out oh, okay. like that um that character that personality it just comes out other than that if you like meet me in real life in a, like a social situation or something I would just be like a quiet shy person I think because a lot of people tell me like oh tell me sachi ma to kasto nazon dire se then I feel like you don't know me what do you expect when we meet for the first time yeah <laughs> I yeah. guess it's just easy for people to think that you'd be like an extrovert yeah. because of the kind of content yeah, you make the, and yeah. the kind of personality you have when you're on screen. Yep. So how was childhood then? What kind of a kid were you? Yeah, I was very quiet. Um class mo kuni I was like the average student. Uh not average, actually I was a failure. <laughs> <laughs> I used to fail in Nepali. Uh yeah, so that and um middle school you know so i was like the fat kid in class <laughs> and then uh and then i yeah, became me okay so we completely forgot i was so excited to welcome you that we forgot about the food uh, so thank you the bombay club for sending us food this time this season we don't cook we just eat and talk so let's mm-hmm. eat as well sure um everything on your corner is vegetarian so feel free to eat whatever you okay. want to eat Because I'm on camera. Yeah. Mm, it's good. Yeah. Mm. I have the Dubois Nana meat. Aligners inside my teeth. Oh. Don't feel hot. Oh my god, I'm wearing white. The stress level is like so high mm. right now. 
Okay, as we eat, mm -hmm. let's answer some questions as well. So how and when did you get into making vines and Musical.ly and TikTok? You've basically been in every platform recently. Mm -hmm. I found your videos from mm -hmm. everything. Like Dub Smash Money, you were in Musical.ly as well and now in TikTok as well. So how did you start? Um, I started making videos when I was actually in 7th grade. So that would be, what, 2011 or 12, I think. And uh, the first time I made a video was for uh, YouTube. It was just like me lip syncing Gobber Singo Shole's dialogue. And then my sister was in America that time. And then she really liked it and she was like sharing it to all her friends. And um, Tubela, High Five was a thing. Mm -hmm. You remember High Five? <laughs> yeah, she shared it there. And also on Facebook, she shared it. And everyone was like, yeah, she should make more of these. And then later I started making more and then um, yeah slowly Vine and Dub Smasher IO and then that was much more easier and then I started uh, I continued Tay Line Ma and that's how it slowly built up. So how do you pick your content? It's just very random? Yeah it's very spontaneous and very like in the moment. I never plan it out because when the day I plan out my video it becomes very um, slapstick comedy types you know like forcing out the comedy so yeah, I try to be very spontaneous with my videos so whatever comes to your mind one idea mm. okay so we've already discussed this in the beginning your name means uh, goddess of happiness I can't be sure pretty much around those lines yeah. around those lines okay but you know we've uh, seen Pani so many times and we've heard mm. as well people who <clears throat> basically try to make other people laugh a lot you usually have like sadness within and you're trying to fight that and how true is that in your case I, I think we're all the same uh, like when we talk about these things um, because Instagram obviously everyone's gonna look happy because it's just um, highlights of your life obviously you're not gonna like share everything you're just gonna share the best parts of your life so I think also because of that people expect you to be like such a happy person such a positive person but obviously there are downfalls and yeah I just I try not to dwell on them and like keep overthinking about the sadness but then there is sadness. Everybody yeah. has sadness. Of course everybody has sadness. So do you consider yourself an introvert or an extrovert now at this point in life? Right now I think I would still be an introvert. Because I, I feel like a lot of people uh, get mistaken when it comes to introvert and extrovert. Some people think like introvert it's like so like shy, reserved. But I also think like introverts like are people who actually mm, think a lot to themselves uh, instead of hoping for like external validation they're just content with themselves and then they don't really like need that external validation to go out and socialize with people and get that kind of validation so i think in that as aspect then i'm an introvert okay because the kind of content that you make we just spoke about it bunny um it doesn't make you look like a shy person like yeah, you said of course, yeah. so you you come across as oh my god I don't do so many big and I can't go this how to go so let's talk about your singing <laughs> oh, how did that start how much of a singer are you I wouldn't call myself a singer I think like uh, I feel like my vocals are just mediocre types like just someone who enjoys singing but yeah apparently people some people like it when I sing but I wouldn't call myself a singer Will you sing something for us today? Hey! You didn't tell me that! <laughs> Cut the cameras! <laughs> Just a few lines. Oh, come on. I know you can. Oh, oh my god. Um, uh, what should I sing? Anything. Mm. Just think you're like in your bathroom or something. I'm, mm. I'm not even here. Look. <laughs> now you're making this more awful. Let me cry. <laughs> okay, just give me a song, I guess. Not a hard one, but... Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know what kind of songs you like to sing. See? It's not easy <laughs> to think of a song. <laughs> okay, I'll sing uh, Madison Beer. Mm -hmm. Breathless. One, two, three, go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I'll sing uh, Breathless by Madison Beer. <clears throat> la 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 la. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not looking either. <clears throat> you just know. Okay. Hey, this is a story I hate, and telling it might make me break, but I'll tell it anyway. This chapter is about 
How you said there was nobody else Then you got up and went to her house You guys always left me out Um, I don't- I forgot after this You have a really good voice, it's not no. mediocre It is! No, it's not. Baby, do you think it's mediocre? No, it's okay It's okay Yeah Yeah it's good. Okay, let's talk about the transformation. You mentioned yourself that you were like a chubby kid when yeah. you were in school. So, like, would you say that the transformation that you've had has anything to do with what people said about you, about your physical appearance? Did that hit you in some way? Or was it just like a random, okay, I'm just going to work uh, on my weight? I actually, myself, wanted to like work on it because uh, this one time I had this etiquette <coughs> Kelly Rabu had a breathing problem by the then I went to the doctor and he said you're overweight. <laughs> that was the most humiliating thing I've ever heard, like back then. And then yeah, I started um like going to the gym, cutting off junk food, and uh, there was this one point when I went crazy like uh exercise gortio and then when I would sweat and then bittering my swimsuit lava gunto, then right after exercising I would go and swim laps, laps, laps. And that's when I drastically started losing weight. Overall, I lost 20 kilos. Oh wow, and how long? I think uh, over like four months maybe. Well, that's intense. Yeah. Was that how much you wanted to lose? You just got into the whole spiral thing and it just... No, because first month I, I was thinking actually like even if I lose like five kilos, that would be like great. But then once I started, that's like a bit of my, I felt like oh why should I stop now I just like instead I'll just go for the ideal weight for my body like height and so, everything so yeah that's when I actually like uh, went after 50 but I was 70 kilos and then I went for 50 and I actually reached 50 oh wow yeah and then you're just maintaining it now yeah feels good to be in a healthy body um yep <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, it was nothing to do with what people said or anything, but did you ever face that as well? No, obviously also because of um, people as well, because uh, Pilla once uh, in school, I it was taking part in the tug of war thing. And then Pashi, I participated last month, they put me there. That's when I thought like, oh my god, girl, you need to lose weight. <laughs> because I was at the end and they were just pulling like, you know, body. <laughs> So yeah, that was like one of the points where I felt like I should start losing weight. Okay. Also because of that and also, they are, well, you know how like older people are as well. Like they just tell you to your face like, I what I go, you know. I know, oh my god. Yeah. yeah, even that affected, I guess. I get it a lot these days. <clears throat> So yeah, the you have limitations in Nepal. People don't know what yeah, to say, say and it, yeah. what you shouldn't say. Okay, so let's say we lived in a world where there was no social media. So if it didn't exist, any platform for you to showcase any of your talent, then how would you have showcased your talent, do you think? What would you have done, Ola, with this, all this talent inside you? Without social media, I think I would be into production. Uh, is they? Like with uh, something to do with film and stuff. Because I've been interested in that for a very long time. That's what I'm studying actually, Unima. And yeah, if this was not happening, then yeah, I would definitely be into production. But then still be working on creating the content, right? Yeah, maybe if not for me, then for someone else, maybe to just like writing or yeah, things like that. Oh, okay. So, you know, we live in an age right now where there's this notion that everything that we do must create an impact when mm -hmm. Santa or whatever you do, how have you Im left an impact in society or what do you do, how does it impact society so what do you think is the impact that you leave like, or your work leaves for, not just for you, everybody mm -hmm. creating content like this Sunsani mm -hmm. what is the kind of impact do you think uh, that you leave or do you even resonate with the ideology do you think it is important that everything that you do has to leave an impact or must mean something mm. well to be honest I just live, <laughs> I just exist. <laughs> I've never really thought of it that way, like, okay, whatever I do, I'm going to leave an impact on somebody or something. But when people do actually like message me like, oh, I had a bad day today and then I watched your videos and it made me so happy. And I, then I feel like, oh, okay, maybe I am responsible for like somebody's happiness out there. So yeah, um, yeah, when I get messages like that, then I feel like, oh, okay, maybe there is something to this. 
maybe I am leaving an impact out there, making people happy or something. Okay. All right. So, uh, do you think that uh, talent runs in your family? Because we've seen that you enjoy making skits with your sister as well. Oh yeah. Even like she's exactly like me. Bairati, she's very shy. She's extremely shy. She's the um, times three shy version of me, okay. I think I would say. Because when you meet her outside and you ask her her name, she'll look at me and she said, what did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then again, in front of the camera, she's like, oh, somebody else. She has this other unleashed uh, personality that comes out in front of the camera. And uh, yeah, Garma, actually, everyone's like, like yeah, that? Yeah, such funny personality. It, it's just that they're shy to be in front of the camera. But my sisters, my dad, everyone's like the... I don't know, they're so funny. When I go outside and <laughs> listen to someone else joke or something, I feel like nothing compared to my family. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So everybody is like really fun loving and stuff. So, but yeah. then would you say everybody is an introvert in your family? Alex Shai um, It really depends because uh, my dad would be like um, shy in front of the camera. But in person, like with people outside, he's not shy at all. He talks a lot. Uh, my mom's shy. Uh, I am. My sisters are, I think, they're okay, I guess. <laughs> I don't really like them, but okay. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so last question before we move to the next segment. What <clears throat> is Galore Valley? Oh, Galore Valley is... Oh. <laughs> okay. This might sound like one of those ads. <clears throat> or, like, yeah, it's just my clothing line, and um, it's okay, you can have a shameless plug. Okay, <laughs> um, yeah. When I first came here, uh, I was actually myself. I was looking for like clothes or whatever, and then I always have to go to the men's section to buy clothes because I, I, I mean, no hate to girls who dress up like girls, girls, but I really find it uncomfortable when I dress up like that. I think it's because of the way like I used to dress up paila dekine. So I'm always looking for like oversized clothing, like uh, even if it's not oversized, then at least a little like casual but yet comfortable types. And it does say I always had to go to the men's section, and then men's but even it used to be very oversized, like because it's obviously it's yeah men's. men's yeah. And yeah, that's when I thought like, oh, what if I start like a clothing line, and maybe I could like um, price range when you take the range when rakne types like that. And then, yeah, that's when the idea came. And then I met a guy that I know, and then I asked him, like, oh, I want to do this, what should I do? And then he uh, uh, told me everything, like, the process and everything. And then I was like, oh, this actually happened. Then that's when I decided that I will open my own clothing line. And then the name just came to me because I actually love the word color because it means in abundance and um, valley, being inside the valley. I thought this is the perfect like uh, Jodi, Galore Valley Runner because even Kathmandu I feel like it has so much to offer and this really resonates with my brand. So yeah, that's how I came up with Galore Valley. So <laughs> so what all is available in Galore Valley? Just go ahead, let people know. So they For now, uh, before, this is the new line, I mean this is the new collection. Before this I had hoodies and like gillettes and those are all out of stock now. Alright, so everybody you can just um, check out her um, clothing line, Galore Valley, and if there's anything you like, you can order. Okay, uh, so good to know you, so much better than what I initially knew you. Mm -hmm. um, so moving on to our next segment, this is called Chito Chito Mito Mito. Are you ready? Okay, <laughs> Chito Chito Mito Mito. Okay. <laughs> okay, Lahila, welcome to Chito Chito Mito Mito. I will ask you a few questions and I expect you to be very fast and very fast. honest with your answers. Okay, how many words? I mean, just I'll, one word. <clears throat> it depends on question to question, okay? Okay. So, do a Sun Sunny Taza cover act. You were so good with those. Huh? One, two, three, go. Was it Ashil? I'm gonna kill him. Anyways. Swagat hai Sun Sunny Taza cover me. Aaj hum ya hai is table game. I lost it. <laughs> Take two. One, two, three, go. Sansani Taza Khabar Me Aapki Swagat Hai Aaj Hum Yaa Hai Priyanka Karki Ke Ghar Me Chalo Dekhi Kya Chal Raha Hai Jati Okay, who would you cast if these movies were remade in Nepal? Okay From our existing actor, actors and celebrities I mean you can pick singers, whoever you think okay. would fit best to do these roles Dirty Dancing Dirty Dancing? 
I haven't watched Dirty Dungeon. <gasps> Oh no. What if all of the movies that you say I haven't watched? I'm sure these other two you've watched. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. You and him. Why? I'm so <laughs> Friends with benefits. Friends with benefits. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you and him. <laughs> so far, are you performing miserably? <laughs> Just want to let you know. The best pickup line that you've ever gotten. Are you an angel? Of, oh, did you? Did it hurt when you fell down? Because I hurt. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, how does that go? I don't know. It's a pickup line you got. No, you, no, it's like a very cliche one. I'm, I'm sure you've heard it. Did like, it hurt when yeah, you fell from did heaven? Yeah, it hurt when you fell from heaven. Yeah, that one. Okay. So if these people were brands, okay, mm -hmm. what would their tagline be? Let me. Um. Tagline. Huh. Let me wear my makeup. Oh. <laughs> Parakram. <laughs> Parakram. Mm, 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 mm. Um. My life's a confetti. Anna. This bomb's about to blast. <laughs> Raja Shama. Um. Um. I love my hair. <laughs> Krishna Mananda. Too cool for school. Good job. Performed well. Okay. One actor <laughs> that we have here from the Nepali film industry that you'd want to date, if ever there was a moment like that. Hmm. Mm. Uh, who I'd want to date? <laughs> Holy shit. I was not prepared for this. Mm. If I had to date, Mm, I would date, uh, -uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a name. I'm sure you find someone good looking, handsome, oh, this is witty, oh, this guy is smart, this guy is... I would date Samragi because she's hot. Good, okay. Describe yourself in five words. Now, can you do this quick? Witty, sarcastic, humorous, uh, the, the... Awkward and uh, short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> okay, fine. Short. There. <laughs> On a scale of one to ten, how good are you in keeping secrets? Mm, I think a ten. Really? Yeah. You're that good? Yeah. I mean, I've never really spilled any beans about anybody else, so I think. A 10. Okay. Have you ever stolen anything? Uh, yes. So one time when I was a kid, I stole a Mr. Bean CD from one of my cousins. Did you get caught? Now I did. <laughs> <laughs> one thing that men should know about women, but they don't. That we know everything. And when we say it, we mean it. We know everything. Okay. One item you'll surely find in these people's bedrooms, okay? Anmol Casey. Mm, a mirror. Shrinkala uh, Glasses. Ashiman Joshi. Uh, shit. A bigger mirror. <laughs> a bigger mirror. And my photo. <laughs> <laughs> Indira Joshi. Mm, a hairbrush. Okay. A sexy pseudo name you'd pick for yourself. Uh, Lola. <laughs> Okay, okay, Lola, that was very good. Uh, I like some of your answers. Now we're going to our next segment, which is Blast from the Past, okay? Okay. <laughs> so let's share and eat. Okay, Rakila, welcome to Blast from the Past, where we're going to show you some of the pictures and images that you've shared over the years and just talk about it, okay? So here goes the first one, Dandaran! Oh my god, did I not delete that? No, you didn't. So what, uh, what is the fascination here with friends or uh, with Ellen? Because your caption says, sorry Ellen, it has to be me. Yeah, because I think she, uh, she was in there. <laughs> <laughs> I put my head in there. And plus I was, uh, not was, I still am obsessed with this show. So Who's your favorite character? 
Um, it has to be Ross. When he, there was this one season where he lost his shit all the time. Like he was always angry. That's when I started developing some kind of like, you know, feelings for him. <laughs> because he was damaged? Not me. Hey, don't expose me like this. <laughs> no, I just liked it when he was, yeah, in that phase because he was actually funny. And I love it when people don't know that they're funny, but they're just funny. Yeah. Okay. So what what made you want to post this like as a post post? Um, well, listen, everybody has a past. <laughs> okay. And I was just one of the teenagers going through this phase where I wanted to be one of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you you completely blend in this picture. I can't even tell it's photoshopped. It's so real, isn't it? What do you guys think? Yeah, it's like so real. Wig. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can't even tell. I was like, oh, wow, that's that's a new friend's cast member, which never came on air. Okay, I saw this, then I couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> and the caption says, "Will you marry me?" But what is that? Is that like that? No, what that's is it? Gum. That's chewing gum. What? Wh wh mm, okay. Did you really find this? Yeah. Did I not delete that? No. <laughs> So can can I know what is going on and why does the caption say will you marry me? No, I I found it very funny because instead of a ring, there's a saliva filled, saliva induced uh, chewing gum, and I think that's very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> so is this how your boyfriend should propose to you, or your um, girlfriend, or whoever? No, that my, the past like I would want that, but not anymore. Now I just want diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, if anybody was to give anybody this thing, then how does it work? You chew a gum, put it in there, and give it to your other partner so that they take it and then they chew it? Yeah, that's how they exchange their love. The, the lucky last God knows how many years ago would want this? I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. Alright, now let's, okay, it's, this is a very cute picture. Um, okay. Where you call yourself an educated potato. Oh, I just wrote that because I was in school. Okay. That's actually my school, uh, Rupisma. And yeah, I was wearing my uniform and I was just like, let me just take a photo. And then I just wrote, yeah, educated potato. But am I educated? Am I? Are you? I don't know. <laughs> Never lose hope. Oh, yeah. That was actually um, when I drastically lost weight. The one you spoke yeah. about? 20 kilos in like four months? Yep. So yeah. that's what you looked like before? Yeah, when people was, would yeah. tie you up in the rope, in the tug of war thing? Yeah, actually fatter than that. But I think uh, this was also like when I slowly started like cutting junk off. But I was fatter than that. Can I say, use the term fat? Because I think some people find it offensive, no? Healthier. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you were healthy. Yeah. Very healthy. <laughs> yeah, damn! <laughs> My... <laughs> I was fluffy, but then I'm happy. Um, yeah, very fluffy and healthy. Okay, so you briefly mentioned about getting oh. notes like these. Yeah. So how often do you get them? How does it make you feel? Uh, I don't think people do these anymore, no? Because now they they just have DMs and stuff. But yeah, that was uh, in uh, Mike's breakfast. And then I was there with my friends. And then somebody just... Uh, no, the waiter came up to me and gave me this napkin. And then I was like, what is that? And then I read it and I was like, wow. That was like the first time someone ever like, you know, came to me in public and then said something like that. So I found that very cute. No, I hardly get these anymore. <laughs> but it does make a difference, right? When yeah. people um, come up to you and just, you know, praise you for your work. Yeah. Or let, let you know how what you mean to them. Yep. Yeah. But then, yeah, like you said, we hardly get these anymore. Yeah. It's all in the DMs. All right. Uh, very good. You were honest with all of your answers. Now we have our final segment, which is the most fun, apparently. Mm -hmm. So we will be back with the second Das Sawal. Lakila, ready then? Brace yourself. Yep. Let's do this. The second, the Saval, where you have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions. Okay. May the best contender win. All right, I have the timer ready okay. with me. We'll start with Priyanka so you'll know how it goes. Ready? Yep. So she'll answer first, no? Yeah. Okay. Our questions will be different, so there's no need to be happy. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna go home. All right, baby. You ready? Yeah. 
Give me five different terms for making love. Um, sex, banging, uh, doing it, um, hooking up, inserting it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play this dirty game. <laughs> Well, but I got five right. Uh, yeah, inserting. I'm inserting. Yes. Oh, I'm fucking! Yes. I forgot fucking. Exactly. Yeah. Alright, Akila, like you're sure. Please don't be dirty. Please don't be dirty. Okay. Five things you'd probably doodle. Okay. Sun, star, heart, hair. What? Beans. Beans. <laughs> Good job. Because I saw. Because you saw beans. Okay. Five things you can only do once you are old. Um, uh, uh, remove my teeth and clean them. Uh, walk with uh, stretchers. Um, I don't know, fart all the time. Hmm. Oh, what do you do when you're old? Come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you can only fart <laughs> when you are old. All right, Lakila. Five things you shouldn't say in bed. Shouldn't say in bed? Well, that was fun. Um, well, that was not fun. Well, what a blast. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. It has to you start got with a well. <laughs> it has right. to start with a well. Good try. Five things you would like as a gift. I would like uh, diamonds, um, cash, gold, um, ruby, emeralds. <laughs> That's a hard one to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Five other ways to say breasts. Boobs, boobies, chimichangas, boozles, tits, titties. Good job. Boozles. What is boozles? I don't know. Boozles. I have big boozles right now. <laughs> Alright, man. Five things that are hard. Hard? Um. Your d <laughs> I was thinking table, but yeah, yeah. table, um, <laughs> concrete, marble, my head. Five things people don't know about you. <sighs> I'm short. <laughs> there, happy. <laughs> wow, you sound like one. All right, good try. Nothing. I'll give a one point for that. <clears throat> give me five. Pick up um, You're the bomb. Oh, you're sexy. Uh, let's hit it. Um, what's your number? Can you slide into my bed? <laughs> what? <laughs> let's hit it? <laughs> I, I cannot imagine going up to a person and saying, Can you slide into my bed? <laughs> let's hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Did she say that to you? Hey, let's hit it. Hey, let's hit said, it. Slide into Can my you bed. slide into my bed? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually so creepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye. Five ways you should not greet someone. Hiya. Ho. Hey. Hey. Hi. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I think I'm about to die. What was what, what language was that anyway? That is why that's not yeah. how you should be. Or a slide into my bed? <laughs> 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 oh my god. Give me five things you are bad at. I'm bad at giving uh, directions. I'm bad at uh, I don't know. Pick up lines? Yeah, pick up lines definitely. Bad at just uh, I'm good at everything, you know. She's good at sliding. <laughs> What are the five cheap things you own that people don't know? Five cheap things? <laughs> oh, now people are gonna comment. She is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> she is his damn rich award. <laughs> Give me five things that you do not do alone. Uh, I. Uh... Basically, you do everything alone. Eat, watch a movie in a theater, I don't know, shop. <laughs> I watch movies alone. 
What's your problem? Have sex. <laughs> have sex a lot. Time's up. <laughs> what are five things you do at 3 a.m.? Um, overthink, uh, sing, contemplate, uh, dwell on the past, and uh, eat. Okay, that's nice. Good job. That's very good. What are five ways to make a good impression? Um, smell good, look good, um, don't open your mouth unnecessarily, uh, greet well, and uh, smile. Nice. I was gonna say slide into someone's <laughs> bed. <laughs> Is that the highlight of this show today? Yeah. <laughs> what are five ways to make a bad impression? Hi! <laughs> And slide into someone's bed. <laughs> Say, let's hit it. <laughs> I'll give you a three. <laughs> yes. Five things you should not touch. Um, uh, other people. Uh, other people's food. Um, your nose. When you're with people. Um, other people's private areas. <laughs> I'm never going to touch that now. <laughs> Give me five names of people you would want to be stuck in an elevator with. Justin Bieber. Kendall Jenner. And me. <laughs> Did you see yourself? You're already in there. <laughs> You should have just taken the name of the entire friend's cast. You like all of them, right? Oh no! You forgot. Mm. Act out five emotions. <laughs> <laughs> With this, she probably meant let's finish. I know. I did five. <laughs> that was quite scary. <laughs> what are five things you like to touch? I like to touch my hair. I like to touch my face. I like to touch m my dog. Not in that way, but I, li I like to touch my. <laughs> I don't want to play this anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not in that way, but that was nice. Yeah. Lose two points. Come on. <laughs> you know what? I think I won. That's not. So, uh, Lakita, you've got 52 out of 100. And my. You won with 63. Thanks. It's just a stupid game. <laughs> and nobody likes to play it. Thanks. This game is rigged! <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, although I won, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that anymore, yeah. But then I'm so glad that you made time to come to Thank the show. You. And I hope you enjoyed all our segments. Thank you. So, so here is a little chop chop hamper for you. Thank you so much Thank for you. I'm not going to go home now. So you, we have uh, gifts for you from Bianjun, from Town Nepal, from Amira Fashion, from Faimo, and uh, a lot of things that you might like. Also, Thank you to everyone. Also, I'll put this here. Also another most required item right now for sanitation purposes. Oh, wow. Because COVID, you know. Is this um, health and sanitation pack from Aura? Wow, thank you so much. Hey, how about you guys ditch Ayanka and adopt me from now on? Because I think that's a great idea. Wow, <laughs> that's a first. Nobody's ever said that before. Why did you go downstairs and check if Ayanka's there or not? <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, she's turned towards a gift now. It looks like I'm not important anymore. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. I wish you all the best in life in everything you. you do. I wish you the best of. Uh, Everything in life too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming to my show. Thank we you. had a great time. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us today. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more in our next episode. Subscribe. Like. And share. Bye. And don't slide into <laughs> other people's beds. And let's, you know what, let's not hit it. <laughs> Bye guys.